Hey everybody, today I want to talk to you about headaches, or uh, which may be a more appropriate title for this group, the pain in the brain. Um, there can be many reasons why you have headaches. If you're, you or your loved one have been in a car accident or sustained some other trauma and either struck your head or sustained what we would call an acceleration, deceleration event, it's often marked by headaches. And so uh, the big problem here is that you can also have sustained other physical injuries because of that trauma, such as perhaps a herniated disc in the neck or other physical issues that could also cause a headache. So it's very important here to almost treat this like an onion. You know, you have to peel back the layers to get to what the, the crux of the problem is. So if you or your loved one is experiencing headaches, it's important to deal with the physical part of that first, see if they can get any relief, and then determine whether or not those headaches are TBI related. So uh, first and foremost, I would suggest getting a cervical MRI run. A brain MRI probably will be normal, uh, even in cases where people have sustained mild to moderate uh, traumatic brain injuries, more often than not, the MRI of the brain is normal. So I would definitely recommend a cervical MRI to determine whether or not some sort of disc involvement or what we call discogenic pain might be at play, and then deal with that. Um, ultimately, if it's a, a surgical situation or an interventional pain situation, you can get that taken care of. On the interventional side, many times injections such as epidural steroid injections or what they call facet blocks or medial branch blocks or even what they call a um, radiofrequency ablation can take care of the pain for meaningful amounts of time and then you can assess whether or not that either you or your loved one is having headaches that are being caused by something other than a physical problem. If it is a disc problem that requires something more than interventional pain medication such as a surgery then for sure, I would recommend um, a neurosurgeon or an orthopedic spine surgeon. There's a debate as to who you should get. Um, I tend to favor neurosurgeons that um, over, over the orthopedic spine surgeons only because the neurosurgeons, that's, that's kind of all they do. Orthopedic spine surgeons, they tend to be more specialized now, but I think sometimes, and this is no... Um, slight to orthopedic spine surgeries for whom I have a lot of respect, but sometimes they don't have the volume of those kinds of surgeries to develop as much expertise. And that's changing more every day, but that's tended to be the history there. So once those problems are taken care of, then and only then will you be able to determine after the physical complaints are tended to whether or not that continuing uh, pain in the head is being caused or is contributed by the traumatic brain injury. I hope this video helps you and your loved ones, and we'll talk again soon. Thanks a lot.